Hey, how you doing? Coach Chris, Team Critical Bench, Head Strength Coach here at CriticalBench.com. Today, I'm covering a biceps workout for beginners. So all you newbies out there, people who maybe who haven't had a lot of years of experience training in the gym, trying to see where to start with your biceps training. I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube about your biceps. Uh, I'm going to try and make this very clear and very much to the point how you should uh, approach your biceps. Number one, the way to get good biceps, bigger, stronger arms, is to spend a majority of your time on back training. Pulling movements, pull-ups, rows, deadlifts, uh, anything where you're having to hold on to weight, like shrugs, uh, farmer's carries, suitcase carries, anything like that that's working on your grip strength and stuff, all that stuff leads to size in your arms and strength in your arms and then your biceps work can just be supplemental secondary stuff that you are just peppering in at the end of a, a back workout maybe at the end of maybe a deadlift workout uh, maybe you, you want to throw some biceps on your chest day or something that's fine you can I'm not telling you how to structure your bicep training so much I'm more trying to tell you that the importance of good biceps really comes from a lot of good back work. And then the biceps will follow. So all the big guys with all the, the great biceps over the years, old school guys, Arnold Schwarzenegger, anybody with really nice big arms, their focus was mostly on strength. And then later, in, you know, as, as years went on and they developed a lot of good strength with compound lifts, then they started to do, you know, they could do more specific bicep stuff and really like sculpting exercises, right? Okay, so now your biceps workout may come at the end of a back day. So your biceps are already warmed up. You can get right into them. But if you're doing them on another day, maybe just arm, you're doing an arm only day, biceps and triceps or biceps with chest or something like that, you want to warm them up. So a good way to, to do that is just with a simple band like this. I do some nice, strict curls, full range of motion, good contraction at the top. Hold it for a second, squeeze some blood into those muscles, okay? Fully extend the arms all the way down. You, when you come all the way down, you want to have a nice straight arm, so you're actually locking the arm. You're, you, know, you feel your triceps lock up a bit at the bottom. That's, that way you know you're fully elongating the biceps and see, as I'm coming up, I'm turning my palms upward, and then I'm going more, you know, back to like a neutral position down the bottom. The biceps are a supinating a supinator, so part of their job, right, is to when the arm comes up to to do this, to supinate, to twist the lower arm, and that's why it's so important to have that motion in your training, okay? So you could just do one or two sets, 10, 20 reps with a, a light band like this, get the blood flow in the muscle, and then you are ready to begin your arm workout. Now, your arm workout, all you need, a set of dumbbells, a barbell with some plate weight, okay? So, my recommendation is this. The beginning of the workout, go a little bit heavier once you're warmed up. Working with lower reps, four to six rep range, two to three sets, okay? Push the biceps as hard as you can in those first few sets, okay? And then you can go more volume with two more exercises after these two, okay? So the first two movements, a standing, okay, alternating curl, okay, standing, alternating curl. I like standing over sitting. We sit enough in our lives. Anytime you can stand up, get the whole body to work for you, to lock your core, to stabilize your body, the better in my opinion. So we just start with an alternating curl. Again, notice I'm doing that supinating motion as I'm curling the dumbbell. I'm turning that palm up. I'm even almost turning my pinkies outward as I curl the weight up. Okay, strict form, full range of motion. All the way up, all the way down. Squeeze, I'm not using momentum, I'm, I'm not swinging, okay? I'm not tensing my neck muscles. I'm just letting the arms do the work. Get like four to six reps, 
with that weight. Okay, now you can do this, you can put this together any way you like. You can take, you know, a minute, minute and a half rest, and then go right back to another set of those. You could do two or three sets like that, and then move on to the barbell. Or you can go back and forth between the two, right? So we have a barbell here. We take a good, your grip on a barbell for biceps, you want it to be a comfortable position, just outside hip width, okay? You can try and go like more close. It's probably not gonna feel as good on a straight bar. You could go with a bent bar, a cambered bar, uh, which, which is a little bit, has that nice bend to it, so it would be a little easier on your wrists. Um, you could go out a bit wider if you'd like. I like to just take a nice grip like this, just outside hip width, okay? Again, knees are slightly bent, abs are tight, right? Looking straight ahead. Squeeze down slowly. We're much stronger on the eccentric part of an exercise. That goes for everything, right? So we want to contract and then down slow. Control that weight, right? And down. Good. Okay? That's a, obviously a, that for me, that's one of the best mass builders for, for your biceps is just a standard barbell curl. It's one of my favorites. Love that exercise. It can get, uh, <laughs> it can look a little ugly if you start piling too much weight on there and you start bending your body around the bar to get the weight up. Try to stay as strict as you can. Remember, it's an arm exercise. It's not a full body movement. So try, try to stay as strict as you can. Okay, so you did your two to three sets of standing alternating uh, curl with the, the supinating curl and your two to three sets of just traditional barbell curl. Now we're going to move on to uh, a hammer curl. There's a couple different ways to do a hammer curl. I'll touch on both. And so a barbell curl, but the 21 method, which is extremely popular, something that I think a lot of us did at some point or, or, or are still doing. It's a ter terrific way to blast your biceps with lighter or light to moderate loads, okay? So we already did more of the heavy work, okay? Now we're gonna go more volume. So we're cutting back on the weight so we can get more reps and get a little bit more of a pump out of it, okay? So less strength related, more hypertrophy going on here, okay? So first, I cut the weight back a bit so we're gonna, there's two different ways to do a hammer curl, okay? You can do a hammer curl just, just like this. So there's absolutely no, it's very strict, just up and down, okay? Boom, bringing the dumbbell right to the front of the shoulder and back down. And then there's also more of a cross body hammer curl that looks like that. So when I curl up, my elbow kind of comes out in front of my body a little bit and I bring the dumbbell up to my opposite shoulder, okay? So you can go either way with it, both are good. I know some people call, just call that like a cross body curl, but it really is a variation of a hammer curl because you're still holding it in that hammer position and you're just coming across the body. I know there's a lot of people that prefer doing that, okay? So you'll go eight to 10 reps on this, which would be, eight to 10 per arm, right? Or you just stay with traditional hammer curl like this. Again, you're maintaining really good form, you're standing. Just like that, nice and strict. Trying to keep the, the swinging and the momentum out of it. Make the arm muscles initiate the movement and control the lift all the way down, right? Okay, so you're gonna do your two to three sets there, eight to 10 reps per arm. Again, you can do all two or three sets with your rest in a row, take a, an extra minute or two, and then move on to your, your 21s. That's probably how I would do it, because these are flat out exhausting. So <laughs> I just assume that this be my last thing for biceps if, if I'm gonna do 21s in, in an arm workout. So this is how 21s work. It's obviously 21 reps. 
It's a seven, seven, seven. I've seen it done a couple different ways, but you can do, you, what a lot of people do is they'll do seven reps from the bottom. So you're going halfway, halfway. And then when you get to seven, you come up all the way to the top and do seven reps from the top to down halfway and back up, okay, from the top. And then you complete the 21 reps with seven full repetitions, okay? So again, as you can tell, this, just doing this one time can be extremely exhausting for your biceps, especially if you're trying to factor this bicep workout in after a, a back day or, or any other body part. You, you know, you have total body fatigue. So again, you take a nice standard grip on this, just outside hip width, again, for me is, is about right. And th this isn't much weight, but this'll definitely make me work. Again, nice strict form, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna start from the top, right? Down halfway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Feeling the biceps on that. <laughs> and now we do seven complete reps, right? So abs are tight. One, two, three, four, five. Feeling the guns. Six, seven. Okay? They're never going to look super pretty. If you're doing 21s, you're not going for like exquisite form, okay? Some people say, hey, you're leaning back a little bit. You're not, I, I do that more strict. You know, there's a place and time, there's a time and place for being super strict. And then this is more of a fun, volume based, just blast the arms, have some fun with it. Don't be like a form, like, you know, <laughs> you don't get so caught up sometimes in like, being so you know perfect with every single rep, with certain uh, very you know uh, variations in training. Okay, so that's just my tip on doing 21s. I hope you enjoyed this bicep routine. Again, it's beginner level stuff. This is stuff that I used to love doing in high school and college. I still do it here and there. I spend a majority of my time though on pulling and rowing movements and stuff like that, and then just kind of factor in a few biceps exercises here and there each week, just for some, some extra arm uh, development. So if you found this helpful and interesting, I hope you did, you'll love this. It's a free report all about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold was the man, had some of the best biceps in the business, right? We made this awesome free report about Arnold, uh, pictures all about his life from his rise in bodybuilding, through Hollywood, becoming a politician and everything else. Awesome stuff, lots of quotes from him. Check it out, the link is below. It's the, the top link in the description area, criticalbench.com forward slash Arnold. If you're on a mobile device, you can't see that area, so you gotta click that little arrow under the video. It pops up in the description area, that top link there. Click that, enter your email, and then I will personally send you that free report. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave some comments or questions for us. Thank you so much.